Thank you, Dominic. And thank you, Rick McAllister, for your early vision. Um, at a time when so many people are talking about what the government can do about this recession and this economy, I think it's very refreshing to have uh, a group of business and community leaders from around Florida talk about what can we as Floridians do starting this afternoon to make changes. So thank all of you for being here. I'd also like to thank the local chambers of commerce that are represented here today through our network. Uh, chambers all over Florida are going to be supporting this because they represent Main Street, Florida. And this is bigger than a retail issue. Uh, we have small businesses all over Florida and a, a big share of their business comes from other business. And so what we have here is a scenario where many of them and many of you call the Chamber of Commerce and ask two key questions. You're asking, when is this economy going to go back to where it was before? And you're asking, what can we do about it? And I want you to know that we stand before you today realizing that our economy in Florida is probably never going back to where it used to be, right? But we are going through an economic transition. And the future, uh, we are going to get through this. We have 7 million more people coming to Florida between now and the year 2030. And we need to right now, as Floridians, uh, begin buying from fellow Floridians when it makes sense to do so. That's one thing we can do today uh, to move this ball forward. So when it comes to the question of what can we as Floridians do, uh, local chambers of commerce and the Florida Chamber of Commerce support backyard economics because this is a way that Floridians can help Floridians uh, weather this storm and better position f uh, Florida for the future. So Florida Chamber fully supports this program. Uh, I would like to introduce uh, the Gainesville mayor and the president of the League of Mayors, uh, Pagin Hanrahan. Pagin. Thank you so much, Mark, and thank you all for being here this morning. Uh, again, I'm Pagin Hanrahan. I'm mayor of Gainesville and also the president of the Florida League of Mayors. And the mayors throughout our great state, representing more than 400 cities, as well, of all of, as well as all of our local officials, whether they be county commissioners, school board members, or city commissioners, realize that the dollars that people spend locally do dramatically more for our community than those that they might spend over the internet, for example. Our cities are very deeply hurting, and our citizens are very deeply hurting, but there is something that people can do as individuals to change this. The falling property values, the boarded storefronts, the challenges associated with providing basic services like police and fire are all assisted when people make the decision to shop locally rather than in some remote way. A lot of people don't realize that cities and counties typically dedicate more than half of their budgets to basic public safety, police and fire. In addition, infrastructure, public works, stormwater management, clean water, these are the things that rely on people spending dollars in their own communities. When we look at the great icons of our cities throughout the state, many of them bring tremendous value into their communities. I'm looking at the state capitol or at Tallahassee City Hall. Uh, in Gainesville, it's the Ben Hill Griffin Stadium or Shands Hospital. But they don't bring a single dollar into the community until people actually leave the stadium and buy a Tim Tebow jersey at the uh, local Gator Sports Shop, or they leave the capitol and they go and, and uh, pick up a a book at a local bookstore. This means so much more than if they buy that same book over the internet because those dollars are not only contributing to the tax base, they're also preventing uh, those empty stores and they're creating jobs within their own community, jobs for their neighbors, jobs for their uh, faith, faith friends and leaders, uh, jobs that, again, may ultimately be their own. So our message in a, in a coordinated way with the Retail Federation and the Chamber and the Press Association and Tax Watch, and we are not always singing off the same song sheet, but in this case, uh, we are encouraging citizens of Florida to make sure that they take advantage of this simple opportunity to uh, f focus on backyard economics and, and help their communities in that way. At this time, it's my honor to uh, introduce Dean Writings of the Florida Press Association. Dean? Thank you and good morning. Florida's newspapers have long had a very close relationship with their local advertisers, the local businesses. In these challenging economic times, 
their relationship has never been more important. As we see the things that are going on around us and the people losing their jobs, it is critically important that Florida's families buy local, that they buy from other Floridians. And Florida's newspapers are delighted to be part of this effort. So with that, I'd like to turn over to Rick for some closing remarks. Thank you, Dean. Thank, thank you, all of you. Uh, I wanted to clear something up because uh, I don't want any of you to, or anyone, to have the misconception this is an anti-anything campaign. This is a pro-Florida jobs campaign. Let me give you an example. I'm sure all of you are familiar with Home Shopping Network, located in Pinellas County. They are a great Florida citizen, a great Florida provider of jobs. Uh, they, ha they pay property taxes. They pay Florida state in uh, corporate income taxes. Uh, so they're a perfect example of a backyard economic supporter because they're providing jobs. So what we want the focus to be on is those people and those companies who provide jobs. I also wanted to recognize Tyler Wald, who's here with Cumulus. Where are you, Tyler? There you are. Yeah. Um, Cumulus Broadcasting, uh, who is, uh, is going to be very helpful in this campaign as we, as we move forward. So in conclusion, uh, I just want you to know that we believe that there are good times ahead. The job security, growth, a stable housing situation is in our future again, and we have a great formula for that. Florida's families, reducing debt, saving money, and spending money with Florida companies. First of all, I got to say hello to my other favorite mayor. <laughs> How you doing, Piggy? I, I, I obviously applaud this effort. This backyard economics and spending locally is very, very important. We've been doing something like that since the city of Tallahassee. And certainly, I'm glad to see Mayor Hanrahan, president of the Florida League of Mayors, join in this effort as well. And we need to promote this, of course. And of course, what we're saying is, you know, if you're going to spend money, if you're going to do that, do it locally. And I applaud that effort very, very much. And I think we need to encourage all Floridians to do that. And certainly, we're going to do this in the city of Tallahassee. And we, gotta, we have to begin to understand that all of us are in this together. And if we support all of, if, we, if we support each other in this kind of an effort, we'll get through this whole thing. We will get through it. And I am confident about our economy eventually. This might be a long, long haul, but we're going to get there. One thing we do have to do, and I'm convinced, is that we have to have confidence in ourselves. That really is very, very important. We have to have confidence in the local government. We have to comp comp uh, confidence in what we can do and what Americans can do and what we can do as Floridians and what I can do here in the city of Tallahassee and Gainesville and all other cities around the state of Florida. That our markets and the things that we purchase and the things that we want, we can do it locally and we can do it well. We can do it very well. So I applaud, Rick. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Good to see you. And I applaud the mayor for, for being involved in this effort. Thank you so much. And allow Thank me you, Mayor to Marks. say a few words. Thank you, Mayor Marks. Also, I wanted to uh, ask Dominic to say something else about tourism. But I also wanted to mention that the posters that you see surrounding us are ads that will be running around the state of Florida over the coming months. Dominic. Thank you, Rick. Um, thank you all. I think one thing we've got to remember also that of that $11 billion or $12 billion in sales that's already, that's a very, very, very conservative estimate. On top of that, we can also encourage Floridians not only to shop at home, but also uh, uh, vacation in our great state. The Sunshine State has so many incredible opportunities and I think increasingly so many greater uh, increasing offerings. And so we're going to be combining this effort, joining with Visit Florida, joining with the efforts of, of, of our good governor and Enterprise Florida, because we really believe the, the economic turnaround is going to occur one community and one Florida community after another, and it starts at home. Thanks, Dominic. And finally, uh, there will be a, 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 uh, an effort later in March to introduce a, a new program that will offer incentives for Floridians to buy at home. We'll be telling you more about that in the next three or four weeks. That will be a statewide campaign as well. Any other questions? Thank you all very much. Thank you all very much. Appreciate you coming.